Hey, are you one of those coffee lovers who is utterly frustrated in 2024, searching on the internet just looking for the best pullover drippers for yourselves? You are just started to learn how to do the pullover. Well, you are not alone. I have been there, spending countless hours to do anything possible, experimenting all kinds of drippers. I know exactly how overwhelming it can be when there is countless options out there. But don't be afraid, because today I'm going to share my insight with you, help you find the best dripper for beginners. See tight, let's go. Hey guys, I'm Michael. Welcome back to my channel. If you are a crazy coffee enthusiast like me, hit that like button below and subscribe. After trying dozens of drippers, I have narrowed it down to six drippers that I believe are the most valuable to talk about. Let's go. Let's start with this origami coffee dripper. It has small size for one cup and medium size for two to four cups. It needs a dripper holder like this to make it coffee. This one is a real eye catcher, sporting a playful design with 20 ridges that not only look cool, but also optimize bloom and brew speed. Plus, it comes in a variety of colors, so you can choose the style you like. It's made from high-density ceramic, so it retains heat like a chain. With a cone shape and sizable buttonhole, it boasts the fattest flow rate, even faster than V60. Usually, the result is clarity and fruity acidity. It's compatible with various paper filters, including Hario and Kalita filters. Anyway, I think this one is not the easiest for beginners. Although you can use Kalita's filter to slow the flow rate, I still think this one might be your second or even third dripper. Okay, next one, V60. This is the most popular dripper in the market, available in ceramic, metal, and plastic. But personally, I would recommend the ceramic one because I think it has the best heat retention and satisfying weight. With its conical shape and the spiral rib design, it offers a good balance of aroma. While it's not the most forgiving or easy to control at the very first time you use it, because the flow rate is kind of fast. It's slower than origami, but it still has a very fast flow rate. With practice, it becomes a valuable addition to any coffee enthusiasm's collection. In my book, everyone should have a V60, but still, maybe it's not the first dripper you should buy. Now, let's take a look at the Kalita Wave Dripper. This is the only flat button dripper I will recommend for now. 185 for 2 to 4 cups, 155 for 1 cup. It also comes with different materials, but I personally recommend the metal one. It boasts excellent heat retention and durability. It only fits with Kalita filters. The special ridges design helps to accelerate the flow rate. But you have to be careful, you cannot fold it. It's easy to make it broken because it has a flat button design, so you can ensure the even extraction. However, I think this dripper is kind of boring compared with others. And the light rose coffee makes it much better, in my opinion. Its forgiving nature makes it the favorite among beginners. But if you are looking for more varieties, this one is kind of limited. Now, let's talk about the cafe flower dripper. It's available in ceramic and triton material. 101 is for 1 to 2 cups, and 102 is for 3 to 5 cups. Its special ridge design ensures a unique brewing experience, starting with a fast flow rate that gradually slows down as water levels rise. The appropriate flow rate is just right for extracting sweetness. Simple, but produces a concentrated sweetness, supporting and distinct coffee. For those who want to learn pour over coffee, step by step, understanding the changes in speed might take some time. Therefore, it is recommended to use it as the second or third dripper. Once your basic skills are stable, you can use it to pursue more and more other flavors of coffee. Let's take a look at Cafe Deep 27. It is crafted by the same brand behind the flower dripper. This innovative dripper is optimized for single cup brewing with its ice cream cone-like design. It has its own filter, Deep 27 filter. Actually, this company, Cafe, they are a paper filter manufacturer. But if you really don't want to buy this filter just for this dripper, you can just use the V6002, fold it like this, and put in. You can still use it. It maintains a consistent flow rate with optimal 27 degree angle, 
resulting in a rich and sweet cup of coffee. Well, I would say this one is the perfect gripper for a single cup. You can only use 10 grams of coffee bean, or even less. However, brewing multiple cups may be posed a challenge. It is a very beautiful design and doesn't require too much technique. If brewed well, it presents a good taste profile. But the brewing method still needs to be practiced and adjusted. If not adjusted properly, it can easily result in bitterness. And the acidity is relatively low. So I think this kind of be your second or third dripper. Last but not least, the Hario Switch Dripper. A twist on the classic V60 with a unique switch button for controlling the water flow. It comes with two sizes. 02 is almost the same with the V60 02. And another one, 03, is the bigger one. If you only use it for immersion brewing, this 02 is only produce one cup. And 03 is about two to three cups. The material is made of glass, pretty elegant. Hario Switch is similar to the Clever Dripper, offering immersion and percolation brewing methods. It is a great tool for practicing your brewing skills while learning different brewing techniques. Versatile enough for expert experiment with various methods. It is a fascinating option for beginners seeking a forgiving but precise brewing experience, a must-have for first-time dripper users. Therefore, I would say Hario Switch is just a good deal for beginners. It has its learning curve, for sure, but also has that forgiving immersion way to brew and practice a lot. All right, the next part, I'm going to use these six drippers to brew coffee. I will use the same brewing method, single pour. 15 grams of coffee beans, same grind size, same temperature of water. The only thing that will be different will be the Hario switch because if I use the same method, then it will be the same result like V60. So I will use the immersion brewing method on Hario switch. I will pour all the water in and wait for three minutes. Okay, let's go. Finally, everything here. Before we start to taste this coffee, I have to say that because different temperature will affect the flavors. The Kalita is the first coffee that I brew. I will start to taste this first and the Hario Switch will be the last one. Sorry for the order, it's just, it's not the same order like we just talked about before. Anyway, let's start it. Mm. I was using medium roast Ethiopia Sidamo, um, but this coffee didn't show like the acidity and too much fruity flavors, more like nutty. So it's weird because like Ethiopia always has that kind of fruity flavors, but still it's balanced, it's good cup, but not impressive, not surprising. Okay, second one, this flower dripper, 27 degree. Mm. The acidity is higher than Kalita and has some fruity flavors now comes out. I think it has more body inside this, but not too much. It's like kind of balanced. And I think it's better than Kalita in my opinion because I like that kind of a little fruity and that can show the coffee original flavors. The aroma is not quite obvious in this cup. Move on to the next one, origami. Obviously, the acidity comes out very quick. A very good quality of acidity, not very much body inside it. The nutty flavor is not in this cup. It's very clear and very good quality of the acidity. For me, it's a very good cup. But maybe for some of the people, this kind of acidity is too high, too strong for them. Next one, the flower dripper. Hmm. 
The aroma comes out very, very quick, but in the aftertaste still has that body taste and kind of balance. For people just into the specialty coffee, you're just getting used to those acidity. You might be like this kind of flavor because the acidity is not too strong. Has some acidity, has some naughty notes inside it. So it's for now, this four of them, this one is the most balanced coffee. Okay, next one, V60. Mm, yeah, I think V60 is very similar to the origami, but still have some different. The aroma and the acidity in V60 is not that strong like in the origami. There has many different layers inside the coffee. You will have those juicy notes in the very beginning, but still there has some chocolate notes and um, naughty notes in the end. But for the body part, the mouthfeel and uh, the full body, I think the flower dripper is better than V60. Okay, let's go to the last one, Hario Switch. Mm. <laughs> it's interesting because this is the only one that I use the immersion method to brew. I didn't even use any pouring skills. I just close the button and pour all the water in, but the result is quite the same like flower dripper. I think it has a full body and it's balanced the acidity and the sweetness mixed together. I think it's quite a good cup. I won't say it's the best cup, but it's pretty good. All right, guys. I hope this video helps you well in knowing these six fantastic pullover brewers. While other options exist, these are my top recommendations for beginners. Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more coffee contents in the future. See you around. Happy brewing. I think I would choose these three. I like these three, okay. but like if I have to choose among these, I think I would choose this one. Oh really? Mm. <laughs> cool. Interesting. I like this one.